And today we're going to talk about regular MOs. So I'm going to create some regular MOs in the system, and while this is running, we'll talk about what are the differences. A regular MO would typically be something that people would issue material up front. If you're building something that takes a day, you really don't really care about issuing, issuing inventory. But if you're building an airplane or something that takes a long period of time, the inventory is going to be issued. So those are regular MOs. Once we have a regular MO in the system, we can do issue transactions. And that's what we're going to show today with Panatracker. So <clears throat> we go back to our menu and we go into the issue inventory screen. And in here, you can pick from any of the regular MOs or quick MOs in the system, but you would not typically issue a quick MO because that is a back flushed operation. Here are the three MOs that we just created. We'll start with MO58, select that, and it has its item, and we pick the bin that we're going to put this inventory into. Then we put in a quantity. Typically, this is going to be a scan device, right? So uh, we uh, uh, wouldn't typically type this information in because it's coming from the handheld computer. And there we go. We have our issue transaction. Now let's issue for a different MO. We'll go in here and clear the one that's there in order to get the list to fill with the rest and find our second one select that and it too is consuming the same raw material so we'll go ahead and put that in into the list and it says there are 99 remaining the one here submit so you would typically scan this inventory as it's coming out of the warehouse to the MO's work center and what does that look like in the portal? So if we go over here to our portal, there's a there's a portal called Issue Inventory Transactions. And in here, we'll see our, our issue transactions. There they are. We did MO58 twice for a quantity of one. We put some raw material. If I had done multiple MOs, they would all show up here. So then, what does that look like inside of the integration? We have the Pan Attacker Preferences actions run issue automation again this could be run on a timer but we're running it manually so at this point we can look at that MO's issue transaction inquiry manufacturing MO activity and 58 And there is a pick document here. And there it is for two of the raw material. And the actual inventory transaction looks like this. Taking two out of inventory. Those are now in the whip stack. 